हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अ ब्लॉग सो मेनी हैव बीन आस्किंग टू पुट ब्लॉग्स बट लेट मी टेल यू पुटिंग ब्लॉग्स एवरी टाइम बींग इन रियाद विल गेट यू रियली बोरिंग विद माई वीडियोज बिकॉज माई रूटीन इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम एवरी डे अनलाइक इन केरला रियली हैप्पी टू नो दैट यू ऑल लव माई केरला ब्लॉग्स सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेट बैक ऑन ट्रैक टू माई हेल्थी रूटीन बींग इन केरला आई हैड नो कंट्रोल ओवर फूड नो वर्कआउट्स बट टूडेज वीडियो इंक्लूड्स ऑल सच So this video was taken on last Thursday. Keep watching. Since kids had school on Thursday, I soaked some white rice the previous day to prepare neer dosa or the appam for their tiffin. Now the first thing that I'm having these days is a glass of water, normal water, just plain water, and one banana. Earlier I used to drink lemon water. Now I have stopped all such. It's just plain water. I'm preparing the scrambled egg curry that we had cooked at home in Kerala. Many of you had asked about it. I'm making with 2 eggs. That's a roasted coconut taking out from the freezer. So you need a small piece of ginger, a few garlic cloves. one big onion and a large tomato i'm using my mortar and pestle for crushing the ginger and garlic it adds taste now it becomes this color when you clean it that's a clay pot slicing up the onion and tomato adding some coconut oil firstly adding the crushed ginger and garlic I clean it as soon as I finish using it or else the ginger or the garlic gets stuck in it. Saute till the raw smell goes. Add the sliced onion. Let it cook for a few minutes till soft. Then add the tomato. Some salt and mix. Cover and let it cook in low flame. Beating the two eggs. Pulling up the blinds so that the kids know it's time to wake up.
taking some roasted coconut the recipe for the roasted coconut is below in the description so please check grinding it to a paste adding very little water first adding little more water the tomatoes are well soft now so adding chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder garam masala powder and fennel seed powder mix again well till all the spice powders are well roasted then adding the thick coconut mix and let that get mixed well first before adding water just mix it for a few minutes kids woke up by this time that's how rehan gets out from the bed most of the mornings back to the cooking now adding some water into the blender and rinsing it before adding to the gravy so that all the coconut grind is into the curry little more water and let it boil meantime adding the rice into the blender along with some water the gravy has started to boil by this time so adding the beaten egg little at a time like in sections all around the gravy do not stir the curry for a minute so that the eggs get a little cooked and get a crumbly texture then just a mix and it's ready I have shown preparing the appam earlier. You can add coconut while grinding, but sometimes my mother used to add fresh coconut into the bowl after grinding so that you get the bite of the grated coconut. The batter shouldn't be thick at all. Same time do not add too much water that it has more water than the rice. Add some salt and mix. When I'm in a hurry I keep two pans for making the appams. milk to be boiled for the kids my helping hand in the morning sometimes i forget to iron their uniforms the previous night it's a lot more easier when i do that nowadays my husband helps in doing this so that's why i guess it's getting out of my mind all off to school and work my husband has his breakfast from office every thursday so it's my time for breakfast
moving on to my morning skin care i'm not showing the complete routine here i have already done this earlier that's a honey scrub now this is what i have changed my face pack i have bought a new one it's the same brand l'oreal it's in a pinkish kind of color and i'm loving it now my skin is getting much better i feel nowadays i do this routine on alternate days now rest is all the same if you want to know my routine completely just check out to my previous video now after that moving on to the cleaning part i'm leaving to gym at 10:30 so i do the cleaning and cooking before going I try to change my sheets every 4 to 5 days. Earlier I used to change once in a week or sometimes it goes once in 2 weeks. But recently I heard from a friend that his doctor suggested him to change the sheets every 3 days. But that's a little difficult, so I try to make it at least in 5 days. into the kitchen putting all the dishes into the sink that's a leftover batter i'm keeping the curry in a glass container and keeping both the curry and the batter into the fridge for next day likely to have dinner from outside so i'm preparing an easy quick lunch putting some cabbage leaves in water for some time that's basmati rice crush the ginger garlic and green chilies all the measurements are in the description box so please check out adding some ghee into a heated pressure cooker sauteing the ginger garlic and green chilies first then goes in the onion sliced i'm adding chicken cubes this is completely optional adding just for the taste then goes in the cabbage some garam masala one dried lemon i have given a tear with a knife onto the lemon some salt
then goes in the rice and roast for around 2 to 3 minutes. Add water. Check salt and add if more needed. Cover and cook. The cooking timing is also given below in the description box, so please check. I was actually getting late so I just put the abaya and loading up the dishwasher. A pre-workout snack. Time to leave. Classes are going on over that end. I usually do weights alternate days. Time to go back home. Into the kitchen. It's always very satisfying to come back to a clean home, especially a clean kitchen. Adding some chopped onion to the curd. Some salt. Finally frying the puppets. Having lunch together. Bingo, what's his name? A B I N Y B I R. Rihan was trying to tell a joke from school, but he couldn't because he couldn't control himself. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
all over my favorite part is spending some time together with my kids before i put them to sleep i actually didn't want to put this part of making a snack in this video but the taste of the snack was good than expected just a little mistake you'll be seeing on the go blended some bread slices beating up two eggs mashed up three bananas with a fork you can use your hand if you want adding this to the eggs just a spoon of sugar you can avoid if you have very ripe bananas i think ripe plantains go well with this recipe i had only these raw vista with me so i'm using this some cardamom powder adding the bread crumbs a pinch of salt to balance heating a pan adding a spoon of ghee pour the mixture into it and spreading all over swirling the pan so that the ghee is all round cover and keep in very low flame or you can keep it on to a tawa if you feel it might get burned at the bottom now here's what went wrong i had to be a little more careful while flipping It actually tasted good that's why I didn't skip this part so you just have to be careful while flipping it just slipped from my hand now the worst part cleaning soaking this in water for some time Dinner was quite late night as it was weekend next day was off
So that ends today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't yet and the bell icon as well for updates. See you soon with more videos. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.